Let's get in how to do the most difficult deke in NHL history. Today, we're doing a tutorial on the Michigan Svechnikov lacrosse goal here in NHL 22. We'll get into when to do it, how to do it, and the controls needed for both left-handed and right-handed players. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First, we'll show you an example here with Patty Kane. He starts with the puck in the right corner, makes his way behind the net. You then bend down, scoop the puck onto your stick, and slam it into that top corner. So how do you do this deke? I'll put the controls on screen and we'll show you step by step. First thing you want to do is hop into practice mode with a high rated player. You're able to do this deke anywhere on the ice. So the best way to practice is just sit still, stay in place. You'll have a better success rate and a better chance of getting it on your stick. Getting into the controls, you are not going to use your left analog stick at all. It's all in the right stick and LB. First, take your right stick, put it at nine o'clock. You're then going to click in on the right analog stick and hit LB. Then you're gonna swipe that right analog stick from nine o'clock over to three o'clock. That's gonna be the motion that lifts the puck into the air. The controls do feel a little awkward at first, but once you get the motion down, then it's all about the timing. So your success on this deke is 100% in the timing of that swipe as you take the analog from nine o'clock to three o'clock. If you go too fast, the puck's just gonna fly off your blade. If you go too slow, the puck's just gonna sit in place and it is down to the millisecond. You have to be very, very precise in the timing of this deep. As you can see here in practice mode, I was able to hit it three times in a row with McDavid. Again, watch my timing of that swing closely. My advice to you is to start slow and then ramp up your speed until you start to see some success and you see your player get the puck off the ice. Next, we'll do it here with a right-handed player. We have Nathan McKinnon behind the net. Same controls, except mirrored the opposite way. So you're gonna take your right analog stick, go to three o'clock and click it on the right analog stick and LB at the same time, swipe that right analog from three o'clock to nine o'clock. And again, with the perfect timing, you'll be able to bury it. This is not a deke that you're ever gonna hit 100% of the time. Yes, you could technically have the skill to perfectly time it and get it into the air every time, but I'm telling you all things considered, different variables on the ice, there is some luck involved. So keep trying until you get it. Now let's add some movement. The most common way you're gonna score this goal is of course on the move, since you don't have a ton of time behind the net. Start in the right corner, make your way across the goal line. You can use LT to try to position yourself, but typically as you click in on the right analog and LB at the same time, your guy kind of swings his body around and naturally pulls it off in the direction you need. The thing with the movement is even if you get the deke and you pull it off just a half second too late or too early, it can hit off the post because you're too close or it can bounce off the goalie's head or shoulder. So it really does have to be perfect. Once you get that down, start messing around and try it out on different areas of the ice. I've been experimenting doing it from the left side, especially with left-handed players because they just have no idea what's coming to them. You start all the way on the left, go down real quick, and then swipe it around the goalie's body into that top right corner. And who knows, you can also just get lucky, miss the deke, and the puck just slides into the net. So anything's possible. And last but not least, I don't think I could make this tutorial unless I scored it in a game. So playing against the Seattle Kraken, we took Patty Kane behind the net, defender on him and all, and we were able to pull it off to perfection slamming the puck around the defender around the goalie into that top shelf now this was on semi-pro offline i have yet to do it online in nhl 22 but you will be seeing that soon so that about sums it up just wanted to make a short and sweet tutorial for you guys so you can hop into nhl 22 and try out the michigan for yourselves again this is not going to be easy getting the controls is hard enough getting the timing is near impossible but it can and it will be done if you did find this tutorial helpful hit the video with a like to let me know let me know if you want to see any other tutorials in the comment section down below and of course hit that subscribe button we're on the road to a million subscribers and we are uploading every single day i'm nasher and i'm out peace